I got a little demonstration of the, the worm drive. I'm using the screw I cut in the earlier video and as the worm gear and I cut a gear that meshes with it. This is a 10 tooth gear and um, it's a, a helix gear that uh, the teeth are cut on an angle. The angle equals the angle of uh, the worm gear here. And I'll show that uh, in a bit more detail uh, in a minute. Uh, this is a gear reduction of uh, 10 to 1. For 10 turns on this crank, uh, it'll turn this one turn. Uh, it works well. I'm, uh, I'm happy with how it turned out. Uh, it took a little bit of figuring on how to get the, the gear to be the right size, but uh, uh, it wasn't too difficult. Um, seems to work well in reverse and forward, so. Okay, I've taken the, the um, part off the top. Get a better look at it. You can see the way the gear is cut, it's, the teeth are cut on an angle. This angle, like I said earlier, equals the angle that the teeth on the worm gear are going at. So that they both fit together properly. Anyways, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching.